Good morning, Trinity Lutheran School. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. It's May the 4th be with you. <laughs> Star Wars fans everywhere are going crazy today. <laughs> so, we're beginning a new week and we've got a new theme for our religion. And that theme is full of self-control. Self-control. Interesting to think about. Self-control has been an issue for humankind since the beginning of time. It started with Adam and Eve in the garden. You all know the story. Adam and Eve had a perfect life in the Garden of Eden, but God had told them that they can eat and enjoy anything in the garden except for that one tree. We all know that that sneaky snake came along, that serpent, and tempted them and asked that question, did God really say you may not eat from, that you must not eat from any tree in the garden? And the woman replied, we may eat of any tree in the garden, but God did say you must not eat from that one tree in the middle of the garden. You must not touch it or you will die. The serpent says, oh, no, 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 you're not going to die. God knows, and your eyes will be opened. You'll know good from evil. The woman saw that the tree looked like it was good for food, and she figured, based on what that sneaky serpent told her, that if she did eat it, her eyes would be opened, and she would be like God knowing good from evil. So she ate some of the fruit and gave some to her husband, Adam. They both ate. And immediately, they felt guilt and shame. They were naked in the garden and they went and sewed together leaves to cover their bodies. And then they heard God and they were afraid because of their sin and they hid from him. God came and told them that what they had, you know, that what they had done, he, they knew that they were wrong. And it was from that time that later in that story, God does talk about the punishment for sin, but he also talks about having a plan, a plan for salvation. So, self-control has been an issue from the beginning of time. The temptations to sin are always there. We're going to talk more about that this week. You'll hear it from your teacher. You'll hear it from me. I'm sure you'll hear about it on chapel on Wednesday. Um, lots to learn about having self-control. All right, so look forward to that this week. Announcements for today. It's Materials Pickup Day again today, so please come on by and pick up new materials for a new week and bring back the completed materials from last week. Um, this is also the day that we're, uh, we have locker cleanout for grades three, four, and five. So if you're Student, if you are in one of those grades, uh, you'll have a bag to take home today of things from your locker. Grades uh, kindergarten through second will pick up their locker items uh, next week. The plant sale was a great success. Uh, thank you to everyone who came to buy plants and also uh, to uh, those who faithful volunteers who came to volunteer and help. Uh, that was a great help and we appreciate it so much. There are a few things left. There's some geraniums, some grasses, some planters, some spikes, some impatience. Uh, so there's a number of things. I think there's some others out there as well uh, that are still for sale. So uh, 
the teachers can help you if you want to pick up some of those plants this morning. Uh, you can pay one of the teachers and uh, we'd love to get rid of the last of those things and have someone enjoy them. So if you're looking for any of those items or just come and see what else there is, uh, we'd love that because uh, anything we sell helps with our profits. So, so we'd love to have you stop and shop for some plants today. Um, just a reminder again that the Parent Satisfaction Survey will be coming very soon, either later this week or early next week. Be on the lookout for that. Um, and then also just to let you know that planning for next year is, for the, I'm sorry, for the end of this year is undergoing, is ongoing. Uh, looking at how we're going to handle graduation, materials return, some kind of a fun last day. So we're looking at all kinds of different options. If you have some great ideas, uh, drop me an email. I'd love to hear what you think. All right, joke for today. What kind of music do balloons hate? Hmm. Well, they hate pop music. <laughs> All right. I pray that you are able to find self-control today and you're able to look the devil square in the eye and say, no. Stop. I belong to God. Self-control today. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.